everyone and thank you for being with us. I'm Leslie Adamy. We begin tonight following the latest in the spread of the novel coronavirus across the coastal bend. County leaders meeting with COVID-19 researchers tonight during the city county public health district's daily briefing where according to city manager Peter Zanoni, a significant amount of Nueces County COVID-19 cases have gone unreported. Arisha Gonzalez is at that briefing for us tonight and joins us live from outside of City Hall. So Ashley, what can you tell us about that? Well, Leslie, definitely a bombshell. There's 500. There were 555 unrepay, unreported cases. Those numbers coming from the 19th to today. City Manager Peter Zanoni saying the state will now be taking over contact tracing from here on out. Zanoni tonight also mentioning that while our case numbers in the 300s, our hospitalizations and ICUs are going down. But city county, city county leaders reminding the public yet again, now is not the time to let our guard down. This is a serious illness that we're dealing with, and uh, that's why we're so adamant that uh, you follow the rules and regulations that we propose to you and uh, continue to remind you of it. Uh, these are people. They're not just statistics. And Leslie, city leaders saying Gulf Beach restrictions are still in effect until August 17th. However, city parks and city beaches will open tomorrow at 6 a.m. But the main message from city and county leaders remaining the same. We have to continue practicing social distancing, wearing a mask, and not joining large crowds. Reporting live from City Hall, Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News. Back to you, Leslie. All right, Ashley, thank you so much for that update. And the way the City County Public Health District counts coronavirus cases across the coastal bend is about to change. Public Health Director Annette Rodriguez saying the state of Texas has taken over some of the contact tracing duties that the county normally performs. You just heard Ashley there talking about that because of the change of hands in reporting those numbers. The data that is now being collected by the state has been delayed in getting into our daily number count. So in other words, Noises County has been playing catch up to get the correct numbers now for the past week. If you've ever listened to um, to uh, to the New York, they call it a data dump. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a data dump from the state because they've taken these these cases. But now we're actually putting them back into the days. And the reason we're putting them back into the days is really like for the statistical purposes. That's because they don't want everyone to think that the numbers have been improving lately when really there is still quite a ways to go. Rodriguez is saying the state has been changing a lot of the ways that they compute COVID-19 numbers. And when it comes to the trend in coronavirus cases across, across the coastal bend, still some certainly somber news to report. Nueces County reporting 10 new deaths today from COVID-19, the highest number of COVID-19 related deaths in a single day. This brings Nueces County's total deaths to, so far to 176 and 356 new cases of coronavirus were confirmed for Nueces County today. That means our total now stands at over 12,300 cases since testing first started. For more numbers, head to our website, kwitv.com.